All right, so let's get to it. The first thing we'll need is our supplies. Everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront below. Okay, ready? You're gonna need a balloon sizer. Promise you, it's on Amazon. You're gonna need an electric balloon pump. I promise you, it's on Amazon. You're gonna need 260 balloons. I go with the clear ones, Amazon. Balloons. You can go get balloons from Walmart. That's where I get a lot of balloons when I need them right now. So get your balloons from Hobby Lobby, Walmart, or Amazon. Then your foil balloons. I will have some of these linked on Amazon. However, I got them from Hobby Lobby um, 2023 because obviously that's the year it is, right, for graduation. And that's it. It's your balloons. It's your foil balloons that'll be at the top. It's the 260 balloon and then your balloon sizer and your balloon pump and scissors. All right, y'all, let's get started. First, we plug in our pump and then we open our balloon sizer up. I always, 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 always do my balloon combs on size eight. Remember that, write it down, size eight inches. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial of how to blow up the balloons and then we're going to get started because if you wanna see a full tutorial, you can go to my step-by-step -step garland and it'll show you how. I'm gonna show you one time how to blow these balloons up and then I'm gonna get to it. So you take your two balloons, right? You blow them up. You're holding your two balloons. You go down. You're going to press them into the sizer and release a little bit. Press them into the sizer and release a little bit. Once it goes through the sizer, that's how you know it's the right size. You bring them out. You put them upside down. You cross them over. You go like this with the next. You twist them around. I release one side, I believe because I'm left-handed, that's why I release the left side. Now they're twisted. You see how I got the necks? And then I double knot every time. You will never ever see me do balloons where I do not double knot them together. Then they're ready. They're in a pair of two. So you're gonna need 14 of these per column. So after you finish two, Push it over and know now I need 13 more. All right, so we got our 14 sets of two balloons and now we're gonna turn them into quads. What are quads? They're when you take two sets of two balloons and then you Go like this and just flip them around. And then you push it to the side. Push it to the side. Push it to the side. All right, so now we should have seven of these quads. I always make my columns um, with seven quads. You can do like 10 if you want them to be extra tall. I'll make a video on that one day, but my standard size is seven quads up. Now we're ready to make our base. One thing that I see that I'm missing is my curling ribbon. However, I would normally use black curling ribbon to match my balloons because they're black, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna show you how to build this with my 260 balloons. So next you get these. This is why I get the clear because they match any color. It doesn't matter which end you start on. However, I find it easier to start on this end because it just has way more grip. So you're gonna take one quad. You're gonna kind of do it like this on your body. So we got it like this on our body, hugging it. You're gonna take your 260 balloon and then you're pulling it and then you're going around the middle where all the necks meet. Now we're here with it. And then you see how I just have a little bit enough to be able to um, tie it. Now remember, I always do two knots. One and two. It's ready. Should look like this. Next, I'm gonna put this to the floor, grab another 260 balloon. 
I like to put it in between my fingers so it's kind of like this. Then you're gonna grab your 260. You gonna make sure it's right on top. So now I have my 260. I'm pulling on it because we don't want no gaps. And then we go up and through the middle. So it's right in there where the necks are. And then we're going to go around the other side, under and then back up. And then do that again. Grab it, 260, excuse me, grab a quad, put it on top, pulling on this, pull up, go around. Now, when I go under, I'm not about to go back to the bottom. I'm only going to go to the last one. So I'm just gonna go to this. So I go, you know, I started it over here. Then I go over here. It doesn't matter if you go over here. It doesn't matter if you go over there. Just make sure that it's going from one side to a, to some other side. Then I bring it down. As you see, I'm not going all the way down. I'm just going down under this one. And then I bring it back up. Now, I probably can get another quad out of here. So let's do it. Watch. Pulling my 260 around. Like I said, back under, not all the way, just to the last one. And then boom. Now it's at the end, you ain't gonna get no more. So now I'm gonna pull one of the necks from this last quad, doesn't matter which one, and then I'm gonna double knot them. So here's my 260, here's one of my necks, and then double knot it. Like I said, I double knot every time. And you wanna make sure you have a firm grip because if you accidentally let that 260 go, it's gonna fall in there and then it'll be hard to try to figure out where it is and you might have to start over. So just make sure you have a firm grip. As you can see, it's together. My first four together. Now I'm grabbing another 260. Remember, I start off from the neck. Pulling under, doing the same like we did with the first one. Going under, double knotting, double knotting. Oh, see how I just um, let it go, but thankfully I had already knotted it once. And then knot it again. And then we're ready to do the last three quads. Pulling it up. This is so important. Pull it up. Don't leave no gaps or don't leave no, you know, you want to have good tension. Pull it through here. So I could go here, I could go here, I could go here. I just, I started here. Of course, I can't go back down here. I just usually go from one side to the other. Remember, I'm going just under one, the last one. Up. These last two, I'm gonna go fast because I'm gonna show y'all how easy this is. You ready? Let's do it. And I want to show you how like crazy you can be with balloons. Some of y'all be thinking these balloons is gonna pop. Baby, if the balloon pops, it just wasn't a good balloon. All right, maybe I was going too crazy because now I don't have much 260 room. Now, normally I like it to come back up, but I ain't got enough room. So I'm pulling the neck from here. And I'm gonna double knot it. I didn't wanna do it this way because I didn't wanna confuse nobody. But in the end, we brought it up, over, down, and then we just tied it down here versus up here. Same difference. All right. Now you have what's called a balloon base. Woo, we did it. Now all we need to do is attach our number on top. So here's our base, seven rows up. We need a balloon weight. Why do we need that weight? Because if I'm at a party and I go and knock this thing over, you see how it just fell over? 
that's not good. However, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you have a weight and how much sturdier it is. I never make a balloon column without a weight, so I would highly encourage you, don't be out here with some balloon columns with no weights, okay? So this is what my water weight looks like. Take the balloon column. I put my weight like this and then I'm going to go just like I did with that quad. I'm going to start on one side and bring it around underneath and then go to the other side. And then just like I did with that 260, I'm going to grab any of the necks. Whichever one seems like the longest. So I found me a neck. And then guess what you think I'm going to do? If you said double knotted, oh, you so right. You're so smart. Catching on so quick. Up under. See how I go up under? Also, notice how I'm manipulating these balloons. Some of y'all think you have to be so gentle and delicate now. All right. You see how it's under there? Now I just flip it up underneath and then boom. All right, let's do the hip test. Oh yeah, party! Oh, I graduated, ow! You see how it leaned but it didn't fall over? Next, we're ready to do our foil balloons, which will be our topper, the balloon that goes on top of the base. I'm gonna use a manual pump. You can also use your electric balloon pump and you'll use the smaller attachments. However, I don't pump my foil balloons with um, an electric balloon pump unless it's my specialty foil balloon pump, which I'll show you. Let me show you manually and then I'll show you another one where I use the specialty foil pump. The reason I like this specialty foil pump is if you use a regular electric balloon pump, your foil balloon, if you pump it too much, can burst versus the foil balloon pump is made for foil balloons and it won't pop your balloon. So I love that. All right, so this is what it would look like if you were using a manual balloon pump. And I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a long time, but you're someone who knows you wanna constantly be doing balloons, I would invest in this pump. Let me go get it for you. This is called the Foil Flater. It will also be linked in my Amazon storefront. And this is a game changer. And like I said, don't gotta invest in it if you're just only gonna do one balloon project. But if you know, hey, I'm gonna always wanna make columns for birthdays, baby showers, graduations, you name it, then you definitely wanna purchase one of these. Got it in there. Let's do it. All right, I would have been pump, pump, pumping if I was using my manual hand pump so i'm glad i got this bad boy i like to grab some regular tape so i don't like this little lip hanging off so i like to lay that down and then you see these little things at the top this is like if you were attaching it to string i like to cut these off i just cut straight across once, twice. If you notice my outfit change, it's the next day. I had to stop my tutorial, but we're back. So we're gonna go with the glue dots, stage it, figure out where it's gonna go. Now that I know where it's sitting, I'm just gonna raise it a little bit and put those glue dots right there so that when I put it back down, it's good. Let's do another row of two. Remember, it's already staged. I see where it's falling. I put my glue dots and then I'm good. 
Now I've got some on the front and now I'm just gonna go to the back. Let me turn this around. Of course, it's already staged. Peel them. This is already pretty much staged. So right now there's blue dots on this side, this side, this side, and then we do all sides. Why? So that it has a strong foundation. Boom. So now we're done. I'm doing this video at my parents' house. Why is smoke alarm going off? Ghetto. If you have a partner or someone else that can help you, make sure that um, when you stage it, you making sure that your numbers ain't leaning. Make sure your numbers ain't leaning. I've definitely done that before, stage something, and then when I come back and look at it, my stuff, y'all, cock to the side. Look at a mess. All right, boom! Maybe I should've done the three first so you could've seen what it was like with two. So here's what it's like with two. I still gotta do the zero and the three. Of course, once again, you just repeat the same steps. If you can make one, you just make it three more times and then you have the full 2023 or you can do just a two and the three to make the 23 part of 2023. Hope that helps. All right, y'all, here's the finished product, woo! So of course, you know you can do the whole 2023 or you can just do the two, three. All the balloons that you need and items that you need, remember, down here. I need you to like, I need you to comment, I need you to subscribe, I need you to share, okay? And if you're interested in making balloon garlands, you download my Fast Track to Balloon Garland Mastery ebook. Get on my email list so you'll be ready for that course because I promise you, this could be a side hustle. This could be just something that you know how to do for birthdays, parties, and all types of things like that. Especially, for example, any of these could be made for a birthday. Thank you so much for watching. And as you can see, I'm new. So if you could comment a question or something you'd like to see, I'd definitely make you a video. Thank you. Have a good day.